100 Minds returns this year with another fundraiser for Temple Street Hospital. The non-profit organisation brings together a hundred of Ireland's undergraduate students in order to raise €100,000 within 100 days. 100 Minds has been raising money for Irish charities since 2013 and to date has raised over €1 million. Euro. In 2016, they permanently moved to Temple Street for their annual fundraiser. And since then, the students have raised over €243,000 for the hospital. The programme offers students a chance to create and develop their own fundraising project in order to raise €1,000 each towards the life-saving work at Temple Street Hospital. The students are offered guidance by a young professional mentor to help them along their fundraising project. I spoke to one of this year's students, Sean O'Sullivan, about the fundraiser and raising money during a pandemic. So my name is Sean O'Sullivan. I am a 23 year old guy in final year studying human resource management in TU Dublin. This year I'm participating in something pretty groundbreaking and that initiative is called 100 Minds. I think in its simplest forms, the reasons why I wanted to participate this year was really to do something that was rooted in reality and would genuinely have an impact. I think as a final year student in particular, it's very easy to get swept up in the academia and not really see the fruits of your labour that you've been studying for for the past however many years. I know I certainly felt this way. Um, I kind of relished the opportunity to apply the skills in a practical sense for such a great cause. I have to use all of those skills that everybody constantly talks about that, you know, you have to prepare for in the real world of organisation, project management, innovation, adaptability, all of those things. And instead of just talking about them, you have to do them. My mentor uh, is an affiliate of LinkedIn, which I found to be already in the very early stages of this process, extremely helpful. It's nice to have somebody in industry who's able to help you plan and determine things from a third party perspective and know what they're talking about. Uh, it's also great just to have somebody to lean on when you're unsure or your confidence about the whole process starts to waver. I've been very lucky the girl that I'm cooperating with on this entire process has been nothing but effervescent and helpful for the entire process. She has matched my energy and enthusiasm for the entirety of 100 Minds and I continue to look forward to working with her. The pandemic has definitely had an effect on how this process is run and how difficult it's been from the outset. I mean, fundamentally with fundraising, it's built on this premise of connection and connection is a very hard thing to achieve in these contactless times that we're currently existing in. However, it's also been a welcome challenge. It hasn't been impossible. Um, we have so many mediums and platforms that we can connect in an alternate way than we typically would. So although you can't go and run your traditional bake sale or auction or any other way that you would typically fundraise, it's been nice to challenge yourself. I've definitely found that for sure anyway. Most of my initiatives uh, came from a real world perspective. I started things off with just a simple Instagram video, letting people know what I was doing and giving them the tools to contribute and help me out in this overall, overall process if they were in a position to do so. And I have to say the generosity from the very beginning was outstanding. People who have been sitting at home and like me, they just want to do something and be better, help something else be better, came out in their droves. It was really nice to see also, when you this thinking outside of the box mentality, it means that you have to think, okay, I don't have my traditional means of fundraising. What do I have at my disposal? I'm very lucky. I actually work a part time in a coffee shop. So regardless of all the restrictions, the takeaway coffee shop industry has, if anything, seemed a bit of a boom. There's been a, a huge influx of traffic in our specific coffee shop anyway. So I decided to hone in on that and we basically have it in place at the moment that if you come in and you buy a coffee, we'll give you the opportunity to donate 50 cents to the cause. And with such an influx of people coming in constantly for their, their daily caffeine fix, and with it being such a 
seemingly so minuscule amount of money that really culminates into something pretty staggering. It's been extremely successful so far and I couldn't be happier with how it's going. As for what's going to come next, that will come with the change in the restrictions and how everybody conducts their day-to-day -day lives, but I'm confident that like we can push our fundraising to the absolute limit. No amount of money is ever going to be enough money for Temple Street Children's Hospital. I'm extremely humbled and grateful with the fact that we have managed to raise the thousand euros in 10 days as opposed to 100 days. But in saying that, it's also the, a great push to be ambitious. And just because you've reached your target absolutely doesn't mean you can't overextend beyond it because only good can come of it for you and Temple Street alike. This year, the money we raise for 100 Minds will be going towards the purchase of a new hemodialysis isolation unit. The unit is basically used to filter and purify the kidneys of any sort of child with any sort of kidney or renal failures or imperfections or impurities. It's an essential service. Temple Street currently only has one of these isolation units, which in a given year, on any other year, makes things pretty difficult. But you put that into the context of the global pandemic of 2020, and it really just puts it, it really hits home that this is an important thing that they need more of. Temple Street, it will forever be a facility that needs more support. It needs people to care and it needs people to help. And that's what the whole purpose of this is for. If you would like to make a donation towards Temple Street, you can visit 100minds.org or follow the link on screen to donate to Sean's fundraiser specifically.